Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOTS. Well, we're in the woods early this morning. Yesterday there was a humidex of 39 degrees Celsius here in New Brunswick, and we expect more of the same today. We're switching gears, we're moving from cutting firewood over to softwood logs, and I can't wait to get at it. Stick around. Okay guys, so uh, we're switching over to cut some softwood now, and this is an attempt uh, to curb against inflation, I guess, because we've got a little more work to do on the sugar shack, we need a little more lumber, and uh, we're going to go after some of that on our property instead of buying it from uh, the big box stores. And the other thing that's going on is we're still losing a lot of balsam fir um, to insects, and uh, specifically the spruce budworm. And we're going to continue to cut balsam fir and try and get some value out of that wood instead of letting it uh, get attacked and die and rot on the ground. Uh, we're also going to take some spruce along the way here. So uh, come along with us and uh, we probably won't do a lot of talking but you can enjoy the sounds of the equipment and uh, watch us cut what we would consider some pretty big timber from this property. Hey guys, the first one we're going to take down is this spruce. It's actually pretty healthy and in good shape, but uh, there's some other trees in behind that I'd like to get at. Plus, I'm looking for some big diameter stuff here because we are looking for more 8x8 cans to cut. So, I always like to measure these up just to get a feel for how big they are. This one looks like it's 16 inches at breast height. Uh, and if we're looking for a 12 foot 8x8, eight eight, we need to be 12 inches on that small end. So I think this one's going to fit the bill, which is good. Um, it's leaning back into the woods. I'm going to try and put my undercut on the front side here and use wedges and bring it. I don't know if I'll be successful or not. I don't cut a lot of these big trees, so uh, I expect you guys are going to leave me some pointers and some tips down in the comments. Let's see how we do.
Okay guys, so we got it on the ground. I was getting a little bit worried because I don't think my wedges are big enough for trees of this size. And I put two wedges in and had them driven all the way and nothing was happening. So I thought I might have to rig up a, uh, a pulley block on the main line of the tractor and give it a little pull. But uh, then it decided to come for me right where I wanted it. So it worked out well. But what I wanted to show you was uh, I didn't get a nice clean cut here and I had fiber pull. And basically, you know, when that tree went down, there was so much energy in it that it pulled fiber from about a foot up into that tree. And if you're trying to get good logs out of these trees, you don't wanna have holes and gaps and divots in your lumber, obviously. So I'm gonna have to cut a blank off the end of it, smooth things up. That'll get rid of a little bit of the taper as well for the sawmill, uh, which would just end up being waste. So I'm not too concerned about it. But you can see here, even though I put, I, I put a bit of a cut down the side when we started, I got fiber pull way in to the stump here. So you guys can give me tips on how I can eliminate that going forward. I don't have a lot of trees like this, but I still would like to be able to cut them down properly. So help me out. Okay guys, now this is the part that I hate. There's a lot of limbs up through that tree and uh, most of them are probably eight to 10 feet long. That means I've got to cut a piece off the end and then cut it off the tree to get it away from the trunk just to make it a little easier as I walk up. And uh, I hate limbing these big softwood trees. Let's see how we do. Okay, the 550 XP is out of gas. It's not cutting as good as I'd like it to. I didn't sharpen it after I finished with hardwood. I'm gonna grab the 545 and see if it's any better. And it's already full of gas. Okay guys, we're gonna try and be a little bit intelligent about this. We're gonna take the 414 back in and we're gonna clean out a little spot using the, uh, the winch as a scraper blade. And then I'm gonna pull all of those logs from that tree away from the brush so that when I bring the Craneman hydraulic timber trailer in, I don't have to spend time moving that brush out of the way. I certainly, I don't wanna crawl over it. I don't wanna risk damaging a hydraulic hose or something like that, but I'll take the 414 in and Karen will take some video and show you what I'm thinking here.
Okay guys, we've got two trees on the ground. They're pretty good sized trees. I think we're gonna have a load for the Craneman hydraulic timber trailer. I'm gonna take the 414 and push a little brush, and then we're gonna go up and get that Kubota B2601 and the Craneman and come down and start loading.
Okay guys, so uh, I think Craneman T1750 met its match this morning on that 16 inch spruce log. Um, that's got to be number one lumber in that and uh, it was all that it wanted to lift and actually I had to use some mechanical leverage and uh, pull the stakes so that I could get it on the trailer. Anyway, we got it on. I don't know if we're going to get it off, but I guess we can always hook a chain on the backhoe and pull it off if we have to. So we didn't get everything in here. There was a couple of eight foot logs left. I could stack them on, but I've got uh, almost a kilometer probably to get back to the house through the trails and up the side of the road. So I'm not going to overload. We're going to be right back in here cutting again tomorrow morning. So uh, that'll just be a start to the next load. Like I said, we're under a heat wave here in Oak Mountain and in New Brunswick. And the Humidex is probably going back to 38 or 39 degrees Celsius today. So we're going to call it a day. We're going to move on to some different projects around the house and the yard uh, where we can stay a little bit cooler than running one of those husky chainsaws. Anyway guys, if you like our videos and you want to see more of them, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share our videos with your friends and family and help us grow our channel. And come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain ACOTs are going to be up to next. We'll see you in the next one guys.